for over 20 years. What happened to Tara Calico? It was September 20th, 1988, when 19-year-old Tara Calico ventured out on a bike ride and never returned. Nearly 22 years later, her story still haunts the people of Valencia County. We were classmates and we were in band together. And, you know, what happened to her could have happened to any, any one of us. You know, they need, to, they need to be held accountable for what they did. This case has gone long, long, you know, long enough. I think it's time to, to try to bring it to a closure. This is a photo of her, what Tara Calico looked like 30 years ago as a teenager when she was a 19-year-old student at UNM. Now for the first time, the FBI is releasing a photo of what they think Tara looks like now. She was a very sweet girl. She liked to laugh and have fun. She liked to make things light. You know, she had a very lovely personality. She was just lovely to be around. I think she had a bright future in front of her, and, and that's what's sad is, you know, she didn't get that. Tara went for a bike ride in Valencia County and never came home. This photograph was taken of her the day before she disappeared. For days and weeks after her disappearance, investigators combed the area near her home in Belen, searching for clues. Over the years, there have been many. So automatically the FBI was called in because there was a possibility of foul play. At one point, a year after her disappearance, a photo of a little boy and a young woman who looked like Tara, both bound and duct taped, was found in the parking lot of a store in Florida. Years, huge rewards were offered for information about Tara's case. Cold case detectives from multiple agencies have even taken bulldozers and cadaver dogs out to areas where they believe Tara might have been buried. They go out and check an area out and, and see if there's a, any kind of hit with the dog and we have not had any results. 30 years later, she is not forgotten. Her case still generating national attention. In June, an article about Tara's disappearance was featured in People magazine. Every little piece can make a difference. A lot of people who know what happened. There's a lot of people who've come forward. There's a lot of people who are scared to come forward. 30 years later, family, friends and law enforcement wait, wonder and hope for a miracle that someone who knows what happened to Tara Calico will finally give them answers. We're still looking for you. We have not given up. We won't give up. So the background in this video that I'm using is really important. Um, it is the Zuni Mountains, and the thing that's really different about this case, there's a lot of things that tie into it, but that is important because the road that she took to do her bicycle ride on literally goes hand in hand with that. And when you look at that case and the other case that we'll get into um, from part two because he was also found in the photo with Tara, and then we're going to get into that, too. Um, Tara had dropped items and left a trail, and later on I'm going to get into that and show you that in the part two um, or part three, depending on how I, you know, differentiate and split it up. But her mother looked for her twice and then called the police. Um, Tara was going to meet up with her boyfriend and her friends later that day, so she told her mom if she went back by a certain time to start looking for her because she had somewhere else to be later that day. So yes, yeah, so this is very um, important information that goes hand in hand with it that you'll connect later. Eyewitnesses had noted that there was a truck following her, um, that it was a white truck, and the weird thing about it was though it didn't seem so forced when they found her bike and stuff, like it didn't seem like a forced action, but now as we go down the trail, in a campsite later on where Michael Henley was at, um, which we're going to get into his details, so I'm not spoiling for y'all, I'm not, I'm not saying details, okay, like that, but in the mountains, in a campsite there, 
like I said, Michael Henley was there. Another piece of her cassette tape was found, another component. So it was almost as if she was leaving clues. And the photo was found a year later. So I'm throwing you some little bit of information out there so you can kind of think about it. And as we go with the videos, um, this series for Tara Calico and Michael Henley will have three parts to it because there is so much to this case and it's a really interesting case. Um, so if you liked part one, give us a thumbs up. If you're a part of the family, thank you and welcome. I really do appreciate your support and your love. And if you're not a part of the family, come join us and share the love and support. So, I I want to go. And I will see y'all in the next video. Don't miss part two and part three. Thank you for watching.